Back in the day, Hollywood was pretty much all people in the industry. That was the main um, way people made a living, was working in the industry in some form. So it wasn't any big deal. Everybody, all the kids were involved in that. So I never really realized it was special or that I was special. This is Lee Habib, and this is Our American Stories, the show where America is the star and the American people. If you search for the Our American Stories podcast, go to the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcast. Our next storyteller has the privilege of being in one of the most beloved movies of all time, while at the same time, and from the same movie, also has one of the most famous lines in movie history. Her story is as wonderful as both of these accomplishments. Let's take a listen. My name is Carolyn Grimes, and I was a child actress, and I lived in Hollywood, and my mother was a stage mom. She felt like I should be in the movies. So I was an only child, and she truly put all her energies to that end. And I had all kinds of lessons, dancing, singing, elocution, dialogue. I mean, everything was given to me and I had the opportunity. I'll never forget when I did dialect, I practiced so hard. Give me please a piece of chocolate. <laughs> it, was, it was so fun. I mean, I really had a good time growing up and that was, hard work to do all that. I played the violin at five. I played the piano at three. So all I did was practice pretty much most of my free time, practice something. But this was in 1940s. So back in the day, Hollywood was pretty much all people in the industry. That was the main um, way people made a living was working in the industry in some form. So it wasn't any big deal. Everybody, all the kids were involved in that. So I never really realized it was special or that I was special. So um, my mom took me to see an agent and the agent liked me. Her name was Lola Moore and she had the biggest stable of kids in Hollywood. And she sent me on an interview and I got a part. So I was in, that was the end of that. I started when I was four years old. I was in a movie called That Night With You. That was my first. But I did advertising, I did all kinds of things throughout that time in my life. I advertised Buster Brown shoes <laughs> and all kinds of things. So that's kind of how I got started and I I really had a good time. By the time I did It's a Wonderful Life, I was six, and I'd already done four movies. So It's a Wonderful Life is the flagship for me. That's the movie that everybody remembers and everyone wants to hear about. Back in the day, we didn't have auditions. We had interviews, and that was usually one-on-one -on -one with the casting director. So you went to the casting office, and maybe there were five or six of us, and you just waited your turn, then you went in, talked to the casting people, and boom, 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 that's it. So it wasn't like an audition. And um, most of us, I would say almost all of us, were representing Lola Moore, that one agent who had children all over LA that were um, in the movie business. So. We just go there and my mother would take me to interviews and she took me to this interview and I sat there and we were just kind of talking with other kids and this mother accidentally 
mm, spilled coffee on me, on my dress, because we wore dresses back then, always, you know, and they were up to your butt. I mean, they were so short. So I had a soiled dress when I walked in there to talk to the casting director. And lo and behold, when I got in there, Frank Capper was in there. And so I had an interview with him and the casting director. And, you know, I don't know what the mother thought she was going to do, but I ended up, I get, it gave me something to talk about. So I was chatty Kathy, you know, and when we were leaving, this is when I found out. I heard my mother talk to another mother, and she said, well, you know, she thought she spilled that coffee on purpose, so, you know, it screwed me up when I went in to <laughs> do my interview. But that was how I got the part. Eventually, got all these parts. I played with Bing Crosby, and I played with um, some of the greatest people of all time. I was in Rio Grande with John Wayne, and that was a huge movie. And I was on the set in Moab, Utah, as a little kid. And I just, that was my favorite of all the movies I ever did, because I got to ride in covered wagons with Indians chasing me on horses, you know? I got, I got to do all these fun things, and um, it was just great, and you know, the Indians were brought in from the reservation, and I, w I was with Pat Wayne. He was John Wayne's son, and he had both Mike and Pat for the summer. So they were there during the filming, and they were actually in the film. So Pat was my age, and we played and had a really good time, but we were told you can never go around the Native Americans. Don't go there. Well, of course, we went right there. <laughs> <laughs> and we spied on them, and it, it was just, you know, it was really an interesting time, and I really had fun. The Sons of the Pioneers were there, and they'd serenade us. And then I turned 10 while we were there, and the Korean conflict broke out at that time, and they confiscated a lot of the planes. So it was a little difficult for them to get shipments of food and things like that fl flown in. but. John Wayne happened to be able to get $300 worth of fireworks, and my birthday was the 4th of July. He had that all shipped in. He had a big cake made. We went out to the Colorado River Bluffs, and it was, happy birthday, little Miss Carolyn. It was a great time. <laughs>